Hi. Are these RC cars that have the DC brush motor? They use a uh, pulse DC for speed control, and they put these small value caps on here, and it's just enough value to try and suppress the RF from interfering with the radio control. A lot of the things that we're trying to build, we're trying to get oscillation and not suppress it. What I put together here is uh, I have a speed control, pulse DC, and I have a brush gear motor here. And I put a high value cap across the, the terminals on the motor. This is a thousand microfarad. I could have it connected directly to the motor, but I have it running through this coil, and it's a bifiler primary, and the cap is in the middle. And now the secondary I have going to a neon light bulb. I want to show what happens when you add the high value cap across the motor. As you can see in here, how fast the motor is going. When I connect this cap up, see what happens. Get more speed and power going to the motor. Now since I have this going through the coil, if I don't have the light bulb connected up, you don't really get that much of an increase because you're not letting the secondary flow. But adding a cap on there, that also changes the throttle response. It makes it much quicker. Other thing I wanted to show I thought was kind of neat, this neon bulb, it has two electrodes in it. And you can see it'll go from one side to the other. As I turn it up, as though there's an asymmetric current coming from the secondary. Now it's on the right. Turn up a little further and it goes to the left. Many of these jewel thieves run around 30 milliamps or so. And to use that current on the low voltage side, I got a DC brush motor. It's a 1.5 volt motor. It's called a solar motor on eBay. And it runs at about 30 or 40 milliamps. So I connected that to a capacitor, 1000 microfarads. The negative from the battery goes into the capacitor and the motor. The power travels through the motor to the positive side of the cap which is also connected to the emitter. So you can get an oscillation in the capacitor here that still lets the uh, jewel thief run. And it runs around 38, almost 40 milliamps. But that energy flowing through the high current side, we can use it with something like a brush motor, which is a device that if you put it under load, the current increases. So if you load down the motor, the LED gets brighter. Thanks for watching.